it's clear in the Constitution that you can't use your office for personal gain. And so if a will full suppression charge could be slapped on Mr. Montero, I don't see why it can't be applied to Mr. Saldiva. And if they are not prepared to do that, then they are not serious about fighting corruption and they can have nothing to say to the opposition uh, as we proceed. While I hope, I implore all eligible voters in Belmopan that can vote in the UDP convention for Belmopan to vote for anybody except Mr. Saldiva. That was UDP party leader Shine Barrow one month ago speaking out publicly against Saldiva. The opposition leader openly supported retired Colonel George Lovell for Belmopan standard bearer. But the party supporters in Belmopan felt differently and Saldiva secured a win by approximately 350 votes. Following the results and Saldiva being returned as standard bearer, will there be animosity between Saldiva and Barrow? Our, part, our party is not a one-man show. Our party is about many of us. Many of, those, many of those who are out here today supporting me. And so when we make decision to move forward with our party, it's a collective decision, not a one-man decision. And that is what I'm going to follow going through. I will respect the decisions of my party. I will respect my party leader. He is going to have to decide how he treats with me after this. Is he? Do you expect he will be your party leader at the end of this year after another national convention? I, I can't foretell, foretell that. What will the Caucus for Change do? regarding its support for Shine Barrow, know that he broke every rule to come out against all you. I can say is, all I can say is that the caucus will always pick the right The machinery behind Saldiva's win is the Caucus for Change group, a faction of UDP politicians. They came out in mass at Sunday's convention in Belmopan. The bloc is considered influential in prompting the leadership shift within the party last year which saw Collett era representative Patrick Faber removed as party leader and leader of the opposition and replaced by Shine Barrow. With the obvious difference in opinions between Barrow and Saldiva on several issues, News 5 asked Saldiva if his eyes were still set on the party's leadership. The reality is that this is a year for, for national convention and no, for leadership. I can say categorically no, I won't be running for party leader the next time around. You can't predict the future. We have a party leader. In, in Shine Barrow, that's our party leader. We have a, uh, a, a person who will represent the UDP in Standard Bearer and Belmopan, that's John Saliva. Those are the facts on the ground as we speak. What the future will bring, we don't know, but I can tell you, my job will be mostly to make sure that we are organized from the ground up this party mm -hmm. and to bring as much unity as we can. Dwayne Moody for News 5.